welcome back to my channel. I'm Jacqueline if you're new here. And um, today I'm gonna do a little Valentine's Day sort of look. Um, I've seen a lot of like pink and like warmer eyes. Um, so I think what I'm gonna try attempt to do today is I wanna do a really simple matte kind of brown smoky eye with a really nice red lip. Um, so if you are excited for this video, please give it a like and a subscribe if you want to join my little family here. And yeah, I mean, I've got my Big Hearts mug, which is if you've seen any of our vlogs, you might know what this is. Um, but it's one of my favorite mugs and it felt very appropriate for Valentine's Day. So I am just gonna dive right in, I guess. Let's get going. All right, so I'm gonna prime my face first and then I'm gonna go to the eyes. So I'm gonna actually mix two things together. I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer. Uh, it's a moisturizing, hydrating one. And I'm gonna put in a little bit of this uh, Maybelline Master Prime Strobing Cream. So, cause my skin feels pretty dry recently. It has been snowing like crazy here. And um, you know, it's just dry and gross. And um, I mean, I'm gonna use a little bit more of a matte foundation. So I wanna make sure I'm giving my skin a little bit extra glow and hydration before I use that. I just mix a little bit of both of those together. I'm just gonna put that everywhere. I already have prepped my skin, by the way. It's already been washed, and I put on all my skincare and my sunscreen and stuff, so. If you see me looking down a little bit, my mirror is right below you guys, so. <laughs> I know it's always awkward. I always like wonder what other YouTubers are like looking at when they like look away. And I'm sure it's like, like me, it's like a mirror, but. <laughs> I'm just always curious. All right, so I'm gonna do my eyes next and I'm gonna do it a little bit in a weird way. Um, hopefully it works out in my, like in my mind, I like can see this working out, but we'll see if it works out in execution. So I'm actually gonna start with eyeliner. Yes, I know, weird. So I'm gonna use two different Maybelline products. Um, I'm gonna use the Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner and the Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil. And I'm gonna start with the liquid liner. I'm gonna pull my mirror a little bit closer to me and go a little bit more on the magnified side. And I'm gonna attempt, I'm not very good at wings, but I'm gonna attempt to do a little wing. If it's not perfect, it's okay, because I'm gonna cover it up with the shadow. So that's just the little base for the wings. And then I'm gonna use the gel pencil, I have a little sample mini size, to kind of smudge this along my lash line to fill in that rest of that. This is like super creamy and very, very creamy. See my problem with doing liner like this is my eyes are very twitchy when I close them. So it makes it very hard to get a smooth line. And I'm kind of like tight lining just a little bit to fill in some of those gaps. This pencil is so creamy. It's so easy to use, actually. Okay, so that's the liner. So I'm gonna give it a second just to kind of, you know, dry a little bit. I am gonna go over it with some shadows though, so it's gonna kind of get a little um, smudgy, which is what I want. So I'm gonna use two higher end palettes to make my look. I'm gonna use the Naked Basics 2 and my Anastasia Soft Glam. Um, so I'm going to start off in the Naked Basics 2 in Frisk, this color right here. It's kind of the cooler transition shade color they have in here. So I'm just going to start working that into my crease. Just to lay, I'm not going to put a primer or a lid primer on obviously or anything. Obviously, if you have like um, this coloration on your eyes or you have like a lot of veins and you want to prime, obviously prime and then put down a lighter color. My eyelids don't tend to get too much veining, so I tend to be okay with just going straight in with shadows. Okay, and then I'm going to go into this fourth color down here, primal, and just start deepening up that crease. I'm going to take it on the same brush and just kind of pinch it and focus it a little bit more towards this outer edge. And I'm kind of going for like a darker, sort of smoky, but all matte kind of eye. 
It's hard today too because you don't find a lot of like true all matte palettes so you definitely have to like mix palettes. So that's the reason I love this Naked Basics 2 palette is that like it is all matte. You can like pull, it's an easy one to pull in with other palettes. So then I'm gonna go into the Soft Glam palette and I have a little bit smaller of a brush and I'm going to go into, let's see, I think I'm gonna go into Rustic and start deepening it up even more. So once again, just kind of in the crease, focusing it more on the outer edge to start and then kind of dragging it in. On a little smaller brush, I'm gonna take the shade Cypress Umber right here and I'm gonna really work that into that outer outer V. So kind of right here and into this area. And just start making this outer area nice and deep out there. I'm gonna take that fluffy brush again and just kind of help blend this side out a little bit. Be sticking worse to one side than the other for some reason. I'm gonna take this little flat eyeliner sort of brush and I'm gonna dip into the color Noir in the Anastasia palette. And I'm just gonna run over that um, the eyeliner and just kind of smoke it out a little bit, especially this wing out here. I'm just kind of smoke it out and get it nice and deep again, but kind of soft at the same time. This also helps set down the gel and the and the liquid liner, so it doesn't oh God, it doesn't move anywhere. Hopefully, you can't hear Matt in the background. He's playing video games right now, but he has a day off of work. Um. So I'm pretty actually happy with how those eyes look so far. I'm gonna go back into um, Cypress Umber just a little bit. Just kind of deepen everything up. I'm gonna go back into Sienna, or I use Rustic, Rustic, and just kind of lightly start, just blend everything together one more time. All right, and then in a little domed brush, I'm just gonna take uh, Tempura and put it at that my inner corner on um, uh, underneath my brow bone. I am gonna go in with my highlight eventually though and put that um, at the same spots, but for now, just to lighten that up a little bit. All right. So for now, that's gonna be it for the eyes. I think it looks super good so far. I'm very happy with it. Um, okay, so the foundation I'm gonna use is my Maybelline Superstay. I'm using a lot of Maybelline today. I am gonna attempt to mix in a little oil to this because like I said, it is a pretty matte foundation, which for my skin doesn't always look the best. Um, so I have this Jewel Boost Your Radiance Rose Hip um, Oil. And usually when I use this on its own, its own, it makes me break out, but I find that if I mix it like into a foundation, it doesn't break me out. So hopefully this works how I'm envisioning it. So I have a little palette right here. I'm just gonna pump a couple, I think I'm gonna do two pumps, two and a half. Um, and then just like one drop of oil. Not a lot of oil, just a little bit. And the one I'm gonna do today actually is, I'm gonna start off with this little dench uh, domed brush to start blending it onto my face and then I'm gonna go in with a sponge to um, help smooth it out. So I'm gonna kind of just mix the oil and the foundation together with this brush and dot it on my face with this brush and then I will go in and start blending it out. Alright and then I'm just gonna start buffing this in to my face. I like to use this brush on more matte foundations and like my foundations thick. I find it works really well with those kind of things. 
and I just kind of buff it in and I find that it works really well. Um, I do like to go over it with a sponge that just kind of smooth everything out and make it look a little bit more uh, uh, skin-like and natural. I just find that that works the best for me. Obviously whatever works for you is a very high coverage foundation too which I like. Cause I'm gonna go for more like super perfected skin sort of look. I think that looks really good with the oil. I'm gonna add just a little bit more on my cheek and chin areas um, because that's where I do need the most coverage. Just like around here. So I'm gonna go in and blend it out with a sponge a little bit just to smooth everything over. I'm just gonna use Take My Real Taxi sponge and just kind of start pressing that in. I know this might seem excessive, but I just find it fine. gives me a really nice effect. Um, and the foundation, it just helps the foundation sink into the skin and look really nice. So that's the foundation complete. I think the oil really helped it. I think it looks really good right now. So happy with that. Um, so I'm going to go on to concealer. I am going to use two concealers. I'm going to use my Maybelline Age Rewind and my Flower uh, Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. So I'm going to start by popping my Age Rewind underneath my eyes. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of the Flower Beauty just up in here. And then I'm going to take that in the center of my face. I feel like this foundation covered up most of my pimples, but I'm just gonna add a little bit extra. So I'm gonna let it kind of sit under my eyes while I blend out everything else. So that is the skin. Um, I'm going to use a few liquid things before I set everything down. So I'm going to use, um, I'm like obsessed obviously, my like Revolution Champagne Highlighter. I'm going to use that same little palette to drop this on and then use my sponge to put it on the high points of my face. Um, I'm also going to use just a little bit of cream blush. This is my favorite. Again, it's the e.l.f. blush that I always use. I'm just going to put my sponge right in there, sheer it out the back of my hand, and go right in. So that's all the cream products. I'm just going to take my sponge where I used um, to blend out my foundation, just kind of give it a once over, just make sure everything kind of is blended and seamless and looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna set everything down. I'm gonna use two different powders, which I know seems excessive, but um, my Fit Me Loose Powder doesn't always look the best under my eyes, and I do wanna set under my eyes today. So I'm gonna use, I have a little baby size Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and this does look good under my eyes. For some reason, the um, Fit Me just, sometimes doesn't always look the best. So I wanna make sure that, you know, my under eyes are looking good. I'm just gonna swirl my brush in the lid, tap off the extra. I'm gonna just run my finger under my eye first, make sure it's all smoothed out, and then just kind of lightly press this in. And then I am gonna use my Fit Me Loose Powder for the rest of my face. So the same thing, I'm gonna get some in the lid. So that is the powder on, looks good. All right, I'm gonna finish up the face. Uh, yeah, I'll finish up the face first and then we'll move back to the eyes and finish those up. So I'm gonna start with bronzer. Um, I think I'm gonna use my the Too Faced Chocolate Sobre Bronzer. This is in medium deep and I really like this bronzer. 
Um, I use it more when I like have special occasions and stuff. Oh god, I have powder all over me. Okay. Um, it's a good color for me. It's a little dark for the winter, so I'm gonna use a nice light hand, hopefully. But I like to use this one for special occasions because it does um, stay really well. It's got nice lasting power. Um, I use this on my wedding day and everything, so clearly it's one that I like. I'm gonna go into blush next. I'm gonna use another favorite. Um, I love these Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes. This one is in Risqué. This is one of my favorite blushes too. It's a really nice kind of neutral color. Um, and once again, these last a really long time on the cheek, so that's nice. And then I'm going to use one of my current obsessions. If I can find it, oh, there it is. Um, the Anastasia Amorizi highlight. I know I'm late to the game on this one, but it's a good one. It's a good one. So I'm gonna use this little set. This is one of my favorite things to use for um, highlight. It's a Real Technique little setting brush. It's supposed to be for under your eyes, but I find it's just the perfect size and shape to do highlighter. And I'm gonna take a little, that same dome brush I used earlier for the highlight. I'm gonna take that again and just kind of, in those same spots, I put that light shade on my eyes earlier. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to finish up my under eyes. So I'm gonna go back into the Naked palette I have this little like kind of fluffy angled brush and I'm gonna go in with Primal. And I'm gonna go into the Soft Glam palette and on a little um, pencil brush, hopefully I can. I'm gonna go into Rustic and just run that a little bit more focused underneath the eye. And then on this little angle brush, it's very like um, dense. This is a Sony Cash. Like, I don't know if they make this exact one anymore, but um, it's really like slim, so. I'm gonna take Safe Burst Umber on that brush and just really focus out on that outer half, outer third and to connect the upper and lower. I'm not gonna put any black on my lower lash line. I just don't think it looks good on my lash line that way, on my lower lashes. I'm just not a fan of the look on me. It looks great on other people, but. So that is all the eyes done except for mascara, obviously. I'm gonna do my brows real quick. So I'm gonna use my uh, NYX eyebrow powder pencil thing that I love. Just gonna brush through those brows really quick. And I'm really gonna take my time on my brows and really define them and make them look real nice since the eyes are so dramatic. All right, so those are the brows. They're nice and strong, I like it. Um, so I'm gonna set my face next before I put on any of my mask or anything. So I'm gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter. This is obviously a favorite every time. It's always a good one. So I'm gonna just like douse myself. So I'm gonna finish up the eyes with some mascara. I'm gonna actually layer two mascaras today. Um, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Last Sensational and my L'Oreal Voluminous together. So I'm gonna go in with the Lash Sensational first. Right, 
then I'm gonna go on top of it with my L'Oreal Voluminous. All right, I'm also going to set my brows down with my Essence Make Me Brow, which is also one of my, that's obviously one of my go-tos. All right, and then the last step is going to be the lips. So I'm gonna use a little combo of things. So I'm gonna start off by lining my lips with my NYX a uh, suede matte lip liner. This isn't my favorite. It's all right. I'm going to sharpen it a little bit. It just is a little dry, um, but it works. I just, I don't use dark reds that often. So I'm going to warm it up a little bit on the back of my hand first. Just getting going. And then I'm just going to outline my lips. Oh, this is in the color Alabama, by the way. Which also, by the way, every time I go to link this, I can never find it. All right. So the next thing I'm gonna go in with is also, actually all my lip products are from NYX currently, that's funny. Um, it's the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Monte Carlo. This is one of my favorites. And then I'm going to deepen up the outer corners with the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Cherry Skies. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on this outer heart and then kind of use my finger, kind of create like a little ombre. All right, so that is my finished makeup look. Um, I'm actually really happy with it. I think it's a really kind of soft, soft sort of sexy look for Valentine's Day. Um, but I always love a good sexy red lip. Um, I just think it's so much fun. And I mean, you could wear this for like anything, not just Valentine's Day, which I really like. Um, I mean, I might wreck this for my birthday actually, which is coming up in March. <laughs> um, super pretty and if you don't want to do and if you don't want to do red lipstick, this would look great with just like nude lipstick or pink. I mean, it would work for pretty much anything. But, um, what? I'm almost done. I was just coming to look to see what you were doing. I just finished. Are you still recording? Yeah. I have a cat shaking the camera. Hi. Hi. Hi, beautiful. I want to get red lipstick all over you. I know, you look beautiful. You like it? Yeah, I really like it. This is my Valentine's Day look. <laughs> do you like it though, really? Yeah. There you go, guys. Husband approved. <laughs> all right so this is definitely the finished makeup look um let me know if you recreate it leave me a comment or tag me in pictures on social media whatever um all my social medias are always linked below um and i hope you enjoyed this video um i will see you in the next adventure bye